the reason why I'm in United States today Hello guys from my studio Copelli, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something special. I made a I'm going I'm going to make a deep dish Chicago style pizza. Of course, I'm going to put my touch. Yes, my touch. The touch of passion, of uh, all the, the tradition, all the experience that I got in my, over my years in my life. So today, I'm going to put every, all of these things together and try to make this amazing Chicago deep dish pizza. I'm gonna put everything that I have uh, to make this pizza because this is something that I want to show you how to do it with my touch, of course. Probably somebody up there in Chicago, they're gonna say, ah, that's not a deep dish. I'm going to make a deep dish high quality, yes. Chicago style that you never see in your life with uh, the high quality dough, high quality tomatoes. Of course, we have one point extra, the passion, the love that I'm putting into this video. Wow, because uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my family from my mom's side, which I never talked, which I never spoke about. Yes, it's going to be really interesting. Let's go see how to make this uh, recipe together. At the end of this video or in between this video, please thumbs up and guys, please, watch all video because I'm putting the love into these uh, videos. Yes, let's go. That's uh, what we need. This is a recipe invented from me. 150 milligrams of water, 200 grams of uh, polish. You can find the, uh, how to make the polish in my other videos or up here, I'm gonna link the video. Polish is a pre-fermented dough to make the, to make the pizza much lighter and very digestible. 10 grams of honey, 25 grams of extra virgin olive oil. Let's mix everything up. Now 20 grams of salt. To finish, 290 grams of zero zero flour. If you don't have zero zero flour, go with all purpose flour. We wanna mix everything until it's all together and then we're gonna start to work the dough on the counter. So in this case, uh, did you see, it's too sticky. I did this in purpose because uh, every flower, it's a different W's strongness of the flower. Yeah. If it's too sticky, just like that, very sticky, we're gonna go ahead and just add a little sprinkle of flour, not too much, until the dough, we're gonna work the dough until it's uh, nice and dry the counter and your hands so see now in this case uh, the amount of flour is perfect we will know when the dough is ready when uh, the counter is uh, nice and clean and when the dough is nice and smooth okay now let's cover up the dough doing this step uh, letting it rest it for 10 minutes makes the gluten stronger the gluten so we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and this way you'll see in a little bit uh, how how big a difference it will make okay there we go guys like you can see see only 10 minutes look at the dough it come out already nice and smooth so now at this point we are ready to go ahead and uh, make the balls so for the chicago pizza here i'm making a 15 here i'm making a 15 inches pizza so well, what i like to do is to scale the dough there we go. The dough ball is about, uh, no, no, it's about, it's about 600 grams. So what we want to do here, uh, we want to make two balls. So let's cut 200 grams. There we go, exactly 200 grams. So now we have uh, 200 grams ball and, uh, and uh, 400 grams balls. Just like that, make sure you close it. There we go, because this is going to be the part, the bottom part, and this of 200 do or 200 grams is going to be the top part to close our deep dish pizza Chicago style. And remember, this is my first time 
ever doing this pizza. A container, in this case we're using uh, one big and one small. Let's put a little bit of uh, olive oil, there we go, on the side. Let's get the ball and let's put it in. Done. This is the top and this is the bottom part. Okay guys, now that we close it, let's let it rest at room temperature for about, uh, for about four hours if you use the Polish. It's the right time to tell you a story about my family. Please pay attention to this, what I want to say to you, because now I'm serious and then uh, uh, really I'm putting the love into this, uh, everything what I do, because uh, I come from a really, really background of a family of uh, pizza. Yes, today in this video I want to talk about Chicago. Why Chicago? Chicago is because uh, my grandmother from my mom's side, uh, sorry guys, uh, the grandmother from my mom's side, uh, I'm sorry guys, I miss it so much, uh, is um, uh, my mia nonna Santina. They immigrated to Chicago in the 60s and they opened up this uh, amazing pizzeria called uh, Maria's Pizza. Yes, I'm looking at the pictures here <laughs> because, I, 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 because I love to share with you and then I hope you are enjoying these videos because I really uh, come from a background of pizzas. Even if I never made a Chicago style pizza, uh, the, I, here I am, I'm putting the love, the passion and I'm going to show you that with the passion and the experience that you got over these years, with the passion and the love, uh, you can do it. This is my grandmother. Nonna Santina from my mom's side and they moved here in the 60s, 1960s. I called my aunt and she told me, uh, this is my aunt, let me show you, with my uncle. My aunt Lucy, she lives in Tucson now and then they just sold the pizza place. And uh, again, this is my uncle, another one, the brother of my grandmother is at his house when I go to visit him in Sicily he's still making the pizzas guys you don't believe me but he's still making the pizzas and this is my grandfather from my mom's side in the pizza place in the in the 60s when he opened up unfortunately I never met him because he died before I was born Nonno Lorenzo his name after my brother his name after him and this is again my my grandfather in the 50s, Nonno Lorenzo. Guys, this is, these are real, real pictures, not joking. This is my grandmother again, making the pizzas with my uncle Frank. Uh, those are real pictures. See, I grew up in the, I grew up in the pizza industry, not joking. I didn't have any choice to go for and uh, uh, seriously, uh, this is my life. And then uh, the goal of this channel is that uh, I decide to give my all my experience, my passion to all of you online. And then uh, uh, nothing, guys. I just hope that you leave a thumbs up and uh, share this video, guys. And then I hope that you leave a comment because I would love to hear you. I would love to see what you think about this. Little by little in my videos, I'm going to show you all my life slowly, little by little. So, uh, yeah, today I show you my grandmother of my, my mom's side. She was amazing, guys. She was amazing. When my mom was coming to USA to visit my grandmother, see, that's crazy. Guys, my Aunt Lucy, when I call her today, she told me she was making 270 pizzas per day. Yes. You believe this? A lady, 260 pizzas a day. That, that's crazy. And they were making New York style pizza, which I'm going to show you at the next video. One more thing that I want to say, really, really important, guys. The reason why I'm in the United States today, yes, is for my grandmother from my mom's side, Nonna Santina. Yes, the re that's the reason why. Because, uh, I, you know, I grew up with uh, coming visit my grandmother on the pizza place in Chicago and then I was see the history and everything. So 
when I got when I got around 22 years old, I say I want to go to uh, I want to go to USA and do the same thing. I want to do the same thing that my grandparents did. So basically, this was a motivation for me. I never say this to anyone, guys. This is my first time. Trust me. Even my parents now they are watching. They don't know this. Yes, I moved to United States because uh, <clears throat> they give me a motivation to move to United States and try the same thing that they did. Yes, the same thing that they did, bringing something with love and passion to the other country, to new people. And then today I'm lucky to bring you the, this art through, uh, through a TV, through internet. Yes, that's amazing, guys. You, you, I don't know, I don't know how to explain the, the feeling that I have right now. Let's go back making the pizza. Guys, guys, the garlic, the garlic in Italy, we just put it in for the flavor, then we take it out. Everybody thinks that we put garlic in everything. Nope, it's not like this. And of course, I like to add a little bit of basil to give the Italian flavor to it. Wow. Nicely. Nicely. It's coming out good. Wow, smells good. Woo! Amazing. When the tomato is no more is when the tomato is no more watery, the tomato is ready. This is the time to get ready with the pan. This is a 12 inches pan. Get a little bit of butter of, uh, or olive oil, whatever you have. Now what I like to do is to put some Parmesan cheese all over, all over the pan because that what it really makes the flavor, I believe. This, this Parmesan cheese will melt it and then will uh, make the pizza it will give the pizza the little touch of crunchiness. Take a look of this pan. Nicely done. Now let's get the dough. Our tomato is nicely ready too. Take a look. It's nice and thick like how we want to. Wow, smells really good. Now so let's let it cool down on the side. People, the dough He's ready the top and the bottom. So now let's go ahead and let's stretch. Let's stretch the pizza. But also, you know, you can try to make it by hands. High quality dough. He's ready, guys, he's ready. Let's put a little bit of flour on the floor. Let's stretch the bottom part first. <laughs> Take a look. This is, this is quality. Wow. Outstanding. Put a little bit of flour on top. Choo, 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 choo. And now let's stretch it gently. Make it with love. Make it with passion. Let's get the pan. Let's measure. And it have to be bigger than the pan. Let's turn it. Let's stretch it a little bit more. And then. Let's put the dough inside, just like that. Nice. <laughs> now let's try to make it and take it, put it out a little bit. This way it holds it outside. Otherwise it's gonna go too much inside. Voila. 
Wow, guys, take a look how much cheese we're gonna use. I don't know if we're gonna use it all, but this pizza requires so much cheese. Wow, I love cheese. Take a look, like, let's mesh the like button. Let's get to 10,000 like. Let's make the record. Let's make the record. Let's go make this pizza. Bye. Bye, bien, 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 bien. Let's get this slice. Let's put it inside there. Wow, we're gonna cover the pizza with cheese. But because I love uh, so much the meat. Here, I cook some uh, roasted beef, amazing. I just uh, cook it a little bit and now I'm gonna put it inside. Now let's put more cheese on top and we are good to go. Okay, now that we finished the, to put the cheese, let's go ahead and let's stretch the top part. Make sure here you stretch really thin the dough. So let's fly the pizza a little bit. Let's have some fun. Let's joke a little bit. <laughs> and now we are ready to go ahead and then put it on top and let's close this amazing pizza. Just like that, easy. If you have extra dough, on the side don't worry about because uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut the side part okay now that we have cut uh, all the sides let's take it off the extra piece let's make a couple of holes on the top part and let's get this beautiful sauce wow so now let's go ahead and let's put it on top of the pizza just like that outstanding take a look wow Perfect, now that we spread all the tomato nicely evenly, let's take off some uh, extra dough. And now let's finish up with a nice Parmesan cheese on top. Let's cover up, voila, done. Amazing, take a look at this pizza, oh my God. Okay guys, uh, our pizza is ready. We put uh, some uh, roasted beef, about course, you can put whatever you want. Now, make sure, fire up the oven at uh, 425 Fahrenheit and then cook it for about 25 minutes. Yes, the pizza is ready. The pizza is almost ready, I can't wait. To the man, this sauce taste smells really good. Wow, it's amazing. Let's go, okay. let's go put it in the oven. It's time to share this video because the people need to know the people need to know about this channel. That uh, it's no secret. I'm telling you everything. The real stuff, the real food, the real passion, the best way to make the pizza home. Yes, the best way with no secret. Now, let's go, let's share. The pizza is ready. Actually, it's been 35 minutes in the oven because it's cooking really slow, this, this pizza. Man, that's tough. Let's do it, come to Papa. Come to Papa! Woohoo! Wow! Smell like Chicago Sfincione. <laughs> Smells actually really, really good! Now we gotta figure out how to take it out from this pan. Wow! <laughs> Let's get it out. Let's see. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit. Let's let it cool down just a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the pan. Kitchen, Papa. Kitchen. Hai visto la pizza, Papa? La pizza. La pizza è pronta, Papa. Va. Non toccare che è caldo, eh? Odora, odora. Pizza? Are you ready? Sofia, Sofia. She's smelling Sicily too. Mm. Pizza. Mua. Ora la facciamo raffreddare e poi la mangi. So guys, let's cool down a little bit the pizza, yeah. then, and then I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pizza. Wow! Okay guys, it's time. It's time. Not sure about this pan, but it's time. <laughs> it's a little complicated. But again, don't be scared. It's the pizza. They need to be scared of you. It's the pizza. Oh my god. 
Can we send him a mic? I'm fighting with the pen. I'm fighting with the pen. I'm going to... Oh, why? Ah, little tough. Oh my God, it looks delicious. It looks delicious. Oh my God. Can you... I mean, take a look at this. This pizza. Take a look on the, on the bun right there. Look, take a look. Nicely cooked. Of course, the weight of this pizza is about 10 kilos, but I'm gonna get a slice and lift it up just for you. So we're gonna finish this pizza with a little bit of Parmesan on top, and voila, voila, the pizza is nicely done. It's time to put a thumbs up. <laughs> Wow! Sono tutti all'attacco sulla mia pizza! Sono tutti all'attacco sulla mia pizza! Vieni qua! Non scappare! Vieni qua! Pure mia moglie qua! Sono tutti all'attacco! Sono tutti sopra la mia pizza! Ma non sto a fare! Fermati! Fermati! Non sto a fare! Non sto a fare! Non sto a fare! Cioè tutti sopra la mia pizza stavano! Mannaggia la miseria! Mannaggia! Ci ho detto dove da massaggio! Fermi tutti! Fermi tutti! Stop! Don't move! Everybody wants to eat my pizza! I have to be the first one! To taste! Che c'è papà? La pizza pure per te c'è! Ok, now I can wait. Ma che cosa? Cioè, what, what do you think? Mmm, delicious, so what cheesy! Think? What do you think? I spoke a little bit about your family in Chicago before. <laughs> you wanna say something to them? When they moved, oh, like. No. She was a. Uh, she born. I in was United a kid, States. I was in Illinois. She born in USA? Yes, in Belvedere, Illinois. I mean. It's wow. crazy! Take a look! So cheesy! Uh, how, how do you eat this? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I have to oh put on a plate. God. It come out. It come out outstanding. Okay, guys, let's get this pizza. Amazing, outstanding. And now is the time to go ahead and taste this beauty slice of pizza. My mom here, she's gonna taste it too. Let me see the first bite from the side. Oh my gosh. Cheesy. We have to. Wow. Wow. The tomato sauce, with the, <coughs> the flavor, it's amazing, guys. The flavor of the dough, outstanding. It cook, out, it cook really good. So much cheese. I love this pizza. I love it. Your turn. Your turn, mama. Yo, this one is for me. I'm gonna eat it myself. Okay. Ah, you're getting a little, a little small piece. Uh, there's a lot of small cheese. Small piece. Here. Small piece. Eh? <laughs> Uh, you got a little piece there. But look at so rich. Mm. Cheesy. Show show my friends right there. Mmm. That was a good, delicious flavor. Look at that. Now it's your turn to comment below. I see you at the next one, New York style. Wow. So delicious. Wow. Comment below. Your turn. <laughs> 